Here is your AutoCAD test. Let's start a new file in metric. Okay, so I'm gonna go under the new option and say pros templates right over here. Um, the test is asking to pick the ACAT ISO DWT. So ACAT ISO is right here. That's the DWT extension. That simply means it's a template from AutoCAD. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Uh, next uh, says uh, set it up as shown, either use limits as shown below or put a line zero zero. Okay, so I'm gonna set uh, the limits or units below also. So I'm gonna type units. Right, so, and then um, says decimal and precision zero. So right now it's decimal uh, because we picked we picked the correct template, but the precision is not. So let's select that and uh, we can pick only one zero like so. So I'm gonna click OK. My unit is done and let's continue now the limits. So let's use the limits. Huh? And let's say, um, let's specify a lower left corner um, at minus 10, comma, minus 10. And press enter. And then the upper right corner at 1000, comma, 800. So 1000, comma. 100 and enter so it looks like nothing happened but uh, we just uh, set the limits here in our drawing so we cannot uh, go or move um, to the infinity right because AutoCAD it's uh, the model space you can move or zoom very very far away so that's why we are setting limits here um, so next uh, the test says command snaps so I'm gonna use the snap command. And over here, instructions says to specify a number five for the spacing. So currently it's at 10, so I'm gonna say five. Next, uh, uh, we need to change the grid option. So I'm gonna type grid, press enter. And for the grid, uh, they are asking to be 10 uh, currently it's 10 so that's fine I'm gonna simply press enter to accept that 10 value next uh, we need to use the command zoom all so they're saying go to the view pull down menu so let's see if we go to view uh, we're looking for the zoom all over here. Viewport mm, tools, not probably not in here. Name views. Um, nope, that's not it. So looks like we don't have the zoom all option from the ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is. Um, type it right use the command line version so i'm gonna say zoom and then and then follow the options right here there's an option that says all so i'm gonna select that option and now i did zoom all as the test requested now looks like i'm ready to start drawing my geometry right here this would work uh, looks like a cabinet. Yeah, it says paper cabinet. So I'm going to start with this side elevation. And, and I'm going to use a polyline for that. Using the shortcut PL. So the test doesn't specify where to start. So I'm going to start right about here in the corner. So I'm going to click somewhere around here. And then... 
um, so I need to somehow constrain my uh, line to go nicely and straight um, so I'm gonna use or activate the ortho mode setting so that way I can go nicely uh, straight up so according to the test is nice sorry 690 so I can move and try to find the 600 in 90 like so and simply click once I found it um, next uh, we need 305 to the right so then I can try to find using the grid right the number but um, I'm gonna instead type the number because that's quickly that's quicker so I'm gonna type 305 press enter and then I can go down and uh, so I need what's the size of this um, over here uh, okay so it's 35 now how do I uh, leave a 35 gap over here <laughs> what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use my extension lines uh, by hovering on this um, line over here on this endpoint only hovering on it and then move to the right like so I can see an X a white X um, so then um, what I can do is um, I can say from like so right um, because I need this 35 gap right there so what I'm gonna do is again hover on it I can see my X once I see the X for the um, extension I'm gonna click on it and I want a 35 um, units for the gap so I'm gonna move up and say 35 and press enter and now I left a nice gap right there so next I need to move to the left um, and that's 35 also so I'm gonna go 35 move down 35 of course and press enter and then I can go ahead and close by clicking on it and pressing enter oh great so I just drew this uh, left elevation for my paper cabinet. Uh, let me now do the, the other one. So I'm going to type again um, PL. Um, and then what I can do is um, so to start right um, on the same level as this side elevation. What I can do is hover on it and simply move my cursor like so and I'm going to click right there. So we need 580 right here. So I'm going to move to the right, say 580, press enter. Next, um, I need to move down. Now, um, so I know it's 690 all the way down, but um, I want to stop right here on this corner because looks like there is a square right here that I can offset. So I'm going to stop right about here on this corner then. Um, so I'm going to start using my um, extension lines like so by hovering on my other geometry and once i see the x i can click on it then um, of course it's gonna be the same size as the top line so again i'm gonna hover on it and move down till i see the x right there so i'm gonna click and then instead of trying to um, click again i'm gonna simply type c to close the polyline like so now I can offset uh, the value of 20 right here to this uh, rectangle and I'm going to use the O shortcut for the offset command 
and I'm gonna type 20 for the value. And then of course, I'm gonna select my objects. I'm gonna go to the inside because the outside uh, dimensions are correct. So I'm gonna go to the inside and click and press enter. All right, so next I need this bottom. So I'm gonna type PL again. Hovering on this corner, I'm gonna click on it. And then of course, I'm gonna try to use my existing geometry to again, quickly draw this using the extension lines and I'm gonna press enter. Great. So um, we need a couple of lines over here. So I'm gonna start using the L shortcut for the line command. And what I can do to get exactly 70 units, I can hover over this corner, move it down. And once I see that white X, I can type 70 and press enter. And that way I can start my line exactly from that 70 uh, value. Great. So now, since there are many um, lines space at 70, I'm going to use the offset command. And for the distance, I'm going to type 70. So 70, let's enter, select my line and offset it down once twice and three times so once twice and three times so now the distance changed to 80 120 and so on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press enter and press enter one more time to repeat that command i don't need to type o again so i'm gonna type 80 and offset this line again two times enter and 120 now for the distance so offset this line 120 and press enter to finalize that great so uh, what we need now is uh, this handle over here so 24 by 96 so i'm gonna draw that using the polyline again with the pl shortcut so the location of course have to be exactly on the center so for now i'm gonna start here and move down 24 and then 96 to the left 96 and I can move up and click on it and finally press enter. So I can move my handle now using the move command with the M shortcut exactly from this midpoint. And I can use my um, geometry here on the bottom again to exactly move it up in the middle like so. So now I need to a radius, a circular radius or arc on these corners um, with 12. So I'm going to use the fillet command for that with the F shortcut. And following the instructions, there is an option for radius over here. So I'm going to select that and the radius would be 12 use that value and then I'm gonna select my geometry uh, this line this other line and nice so to repeat the fillet command I'm gonna press enter and I don't need to input the 12th value for the radius anymore because it's already saved so I'm gonna simply select my two uh, objects right here and that's done now I can copy my handle using the copy command or the CO shortcut. And I can copy from this point here, here, 
and move my way up like so so i'm gonna press escape on my keyboard and great so so far the geometry is good but i need to add some of these dimensions right here so i'm gonna use the uh, dim linear with the dli shortcut and i'm gonna click this point and then this other point right here and i'm gonna specify my dimension right about there my dimension looks so tiny that i cannot see the number hmm. so i'm gonna change the scale of my dimension uh, using the system variable that i learned dim scale and i'm gonna uh, see that it's one so i'm gonna change it to eight and I'm gonna add my dimension again. This point, this point, and now I can see my dimension now much better. Great. So I'm gonna erase uh, this other tiny dimension. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add this bottom part dimension. So instead of dimensioning one by one, I'm going to use the QDIM command. So, and it's nice that I use a polyline now because I can simply select my object and press enter and then move down and I can click and quickly um, add my dimensions like so. So next, um, I'm gonna add another dimension right here using the dim linear command. Instead of picking two points, this time I'm gonna press enter and select my object once and I can go up and click like so. So over here, um, I need to dimension all of this row. So I'm not gonna dimension this one by one, it'll take me forever. So I'm gonna use the uh, QDIM command or quick dim command. And again, I'm gonna select everything and press enter and then move to the right. And I'm gonna select right about here. Wait, so next, um, what I can see is I need a dimension over here on the bottom. So dim linear, select these two points and align it exactly with this other dimension like so. Great. So now I need also dimensions for this handle. So I'm going to press enter to repeat the dim linear and I'm going to select these two and go down, press enter. And I'm going to select these two and move like so. Uh, finally, I'm going to add this uh, radius dimension over here. So if I use the dim linear again, doesn't give me that option uh, to dimension the radius. So if I use the QDIM, doesn't also give me that option to measure the radius. So I'm gonna use a third dimension option, which is in command. And over here there is an option for angular. So I'm gonna click that option and then I'm gonna select my arc right here, I click on it. And it's giving me an angle. I don't want an angle. So there is a radius option here. Nice. So I'm gonna select that option. And now I can see a radius. Great. So I'm gonna finally click like so. Press enter. Awesome. Now, looks like I added all of my dimensions, but um, I don't like a couple of things. First, um, I don't like that the extension lines are going um, inside my drawing, my geometry. That can cause confusion. 
so I don't like that so I'm gonna fix that um, and also over here we have an issue right here an overlapping dimension so it's 35 on this side so I'm gonna simply move that like so and then I can see another overlapping dimension right here so it's 155 or 155 so I'm gonna erase this dimension because again it's from this point to over here so I'm gonna select that and click like so to have a 50, 155 great now there are a couple of things that I like to modify on these dimensions like I was saying I don't like that it's overlapping my geometry and also I don't like that there is a line over here but it's nice and clean on the exercise over here so I'm gonna use um, the density command to um, access my dimension styles option um, so over here so there is only one dimension so that's the dimension I'm using but let me double check that so I'm gonna open my properties with your shortcut select one of the dimensions and check the dim style yes is ISO 25 awesome use the dimsty command again and select my correct dimension style and I'm gonna say modify okay I'm gonna go to the lines uh, tab because I wanna change these fixed length extension lines so again uh, I, over here I don't like that it's overlapping my geometry so for the value um, I'm gonna leave it at one for now I'm gonna click OK and let's let's take a look at here I'm gonna click close and nope uh, it's too much my extension lines are so small now I don't want that so I'm gonna press enter again to access the dim style select my style hit modify and i'm gonna change it by 10 and click ok and great i like this uh, i can see my extension lines now are away from my geometry and that's what i like the other thing that i want to do is uh, remove this uh, line on my dimension right because this the exercise it looks empty and it looks cleaner so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna press enter uh, to access my dimension style hit modify and for that option let's see let's see where can i find that option primary unit fit yeah so you gotta be fit because uh, what happens when the dimension um, value doesn't fit right so what i like to do is uh, always um hmm. here we go draw dim line between extension lines nope i don't want that so i'm gonna uncheck that and hit okay and let's see if it cleans this uh, part so i'm gonna close and great it did clean it awesome so over here also okay now i'm ready to get the autocad certification wait i already got it join me in the next video to learn more